Gearing up for the world's largest immunization campaign, these healthcare workers are taking part in a nationwide drill to test the delivery of vaccines. 300 million Indians are due to receive injections in the first half of this year. This is a mock drill, just, uh, uh, just preparedness for uh, further uh, vaccine coming. We're not worried. To get rid of this pandemic, we have to get injected. I've been working in public health for the past year and I want an injection and to motivate others to do the same. India's drug regulator has received a recommendation for approval for the AstraZeneca Oxford University vaccine for emergency use. It can be stored and transported under standard refrigeration. That gives it an edge over those that need to be stored at extremely low temperatures. It's also cheaper than the alternatives. Tens of millions of doses have been stockpiled and will be given for free to healthcare and frontline workers in the first phase. And more are being acquired fast. India is perhaps the only country where four vaccines are getting ready at one time. And those others include Covaxin, a locally developed vaccine from Bharat Biotech that has been recommended for emergency use by a panel of experts. But many are asking whether the vaccines will be effective or reach the right people. We don't know how long the duration of immunity lasts. We don't know when they will reach people like vegetable vendors or, for example, fish sellers or in the marketplaces or in the manufacturing hubs where the spread occurs significantly in India. I'm not sure that the problem with the uh, problem has, uh, has been appreciated or the response is robust enough because these groups which are being vaccinated are not really going to spread uh, transmission within the general population. The Serum Institute of India has partnered with the UK-based drug maker AstraZeneca to produce one billion doses for low- and middle-income countries. But the anti-poverty charity Oxfam says nine out of ten people in the world's poorest places may miss out on a vaccine this year. Andrew Chappelle, Al Jazeera.